بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم اے چیف مارشل ظہیر احمد بابر سدھو چیف آف دا اے اسٹاف پاکستان ایئر فورس ایئر آفیسر کمانڈنگ پی ایف اکیڈمی اظہر خان ڈسٹنگوشڈ گیسٹ گریجویٹنگ کیڈٹس لیڈیز اینڈ جنٹل مین السلام علیکم اٹ گیوز می امینس پلیجر ٹو ریویو دا گریجویشن پریڈ آف کمبائنڈ کورسز فرام کالجز آف فلائنگ ٹریننگ and aeronautical engineering. On this happy occasion, I congratulate the graduating cadets, distinction holders, winners of swords of honor, their parents and family members. Dear graduating cadets, remember, today is the beginning of your journey in PAF as officer. You have been trained well at this leading Air Force Academy, and I'm sure you will overcome future challenges with full commitment and dedication. Certainly, the paradigm shift in training through next generation training program must have enabled you to advance your academic and professional pursuits more aggressively. Being custodians of PAF's glorious legacy, you carry the hopes of this nation on your young shoulders and therefore must work hard to keep abreast with latest developments in technology, modern concepts, and current trends related to modern warfare. Ladies and gentlemen, we live in challenging times in the wake of evolving global and regional environment. The rapidly changing geostrategic environment has a profound impact on the region as well as Pakistan. More so, advancements in space networks electronic warfare, cyberspace, nanotechnology, and artificial intelligence have greatly changed the traditional concepts of national security and defense. Let me share that Pakistan would not like to indulge in any arms race. However, we would continue to enhance our capability in line with the ever evolving character of warfare due to fast changes in technology to deter any aggression. In the same context, I'm happy that Pakistan Air Force has recently modernized itself through smart inductions of cutting edge niche technologies and Alhamdulillah has made great progress in aerospace and cyber domains in line with the dictates of modern non-contact warfare, particularly through indigenous means. It is heartening that Pakistan Air Force is well on its path to be a next generation Air Force and will scale new heights of glory in the times ahead, inshallah. It is also a matter of immense satisfaction that armed forces of Pakistan are professionally competent and well-trained to cope with all internal and external challenges. Indeed, the whole nation holds the armed forces of Pakistan in high esteem for the sacrifices they have rendered for national defense and also for their contribution towards nation building. Our brave armed forces have always displayed great courage during testing times, and I'm sure that as always, they will keep the national flag high. Ladies and gentlemen, Pakistan is a peace-loving nation and wishes to maintain friendly relations with all countries, especially our neighbors. However, our desire for peace must not be understood as weakness. Let me make it clear that there can be no peace without a just settlement of the Kashmir issue. We condemn the grave human rights violation in Indian illegally occupied Jammu and Kashmir. I assure you that as a nation, we have surmounted challenges in the past, and inshallah, we will do so in future as well. I hope that together we will make Pakistan a strong and prosperous country, inshallah. In the end, I once again congratulate the graduating cadets and wish them Godspeed in future endeavors. I thank you all. Pakistan Air Force, Zindabad, Pakistan, Pindabad.